Hi, my name's Janelle and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I made for my me-made wardrobe in 2020. I decided last night to set this rack up in colour order and then once I did it, I just sat down and stared at it for a good half an hour or so. It's just so, so satisfying to be able to see everything I managed to make during one year nicely on one rack like this. And I'm so excited to go through it all and show you everything I managed to make this year in this video. I've made a tutorial for pretty much every item on this rack, so if there's anything that you'd like to try and recreate for your own wardrobe, then definitely check out the description below as there's going to be a whole chunky list down there of all the tutorials I've shared throughout the year. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I made for my wardrobe during 2020. I guess a good place to start is with the dress I'm wearing. This dress is made from a beautiful linen fabric in this lovely stone colour. And what I love most about this dress is it has a very kind of dramatic opening at the back, um, which I just think is so different and unusual. And because this dress is so simple, it does add a little bit of an extra wow factor to the dress, I guess. This next dress has to be one of my top three makes of the year for sure. I made it using the pattern McCall 7974. I think from memory and I also use this beautiful soft floral rayon from Spotlight. I just think the combination of the McCall's pattern with this fabric is just a match made in heaven. I also changed the pattern up a little bit to add these cute little shirred puff sleeves and I'm just so happy with the overall look of this dress and I cannot wait to wear it again this summer. This next dress is kind of like half me made. Um, I picked up a dress from a thrift store and it was a really um, oversized dress that I changed up to add a little waistline and again some cute puffy shirt sleeves. I think you'll notice there's a little bit of a trend in a lot of the items I've made. I've had a really massive love for puffy sleeves this year and so yeah just be prepared for a lot of puffy sleeves in this video. But this dress is just such a cute one. I definitely wanted to include it in this list as I did change it up quite a bit and it's definitely become one of my favourite dresses in my wardrobe. Next I have this beautiful shirred puffy sleeve dress that is very inspired by the Atlanta dress by the brand Sleeper. That dress has just been so popular in the Northern Hemisphere over summer and so I obviously had to have a go at making one for myself. This dress is literally made up of four rectangles of fabric which I just think is crazy. It is so easy to make and again there is a tutorial if you'd like to check it out and see how to go about making one for yourself. But yeah, it's definitely a favourite style of mine at the moment. The puffy sleeves are just so dreamy and the fabric I used for this one I actually picked up from eBay. I just love this fabric so much and I feel very lucky to have found it and I think it has worked perfectly as this style of dress. Next I have this comfortable casual blouse that I made out of this beautiful textured kind of um, gauzy type cotton. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it is beautiful and such a comfortable fabric to wear. I actually pattern hacked this blouse using another pattern. I think again, it was a McCall's pattern. I'll put it on the screen now so you can see because I cannot remember the numbers off the top of my head. This was such an easy make and definitely a really cute addition to my wardrobe. So something that I did do this year that was a pretty big deal was to create my own line of sewing patterns. And the very first pattern I created was a dress called the Rosa Dress. And this dress here is the sleeveless version of the Rosa Dress. This particular Rosa Dress has been made from a vintage tablecloth, which is really cool. And yeah, I just really love this whole style. It's just so classic and easy to wear. Next I have the one and only knitting project of the year, and that is this adorable cropped jumper. This was the first kind of knitting project that I ever did with a pretty intense pattern like this and I'm really proud that I was able to actually make it. I made it out of the most beautiful rose pink yarn by Bendigo Woolen Mills and I actually managed to get permission from the vintage pattern company to be able to share the pattern with you. So I'll have a link to it down below in the description um, as a lot of you watching are in the Northern Hemisphere and are well and truly into winter now so you might be looking for the perfect cozy winter project. But yeah, definitely another one of my top three makes of the year. I'm so so proud of this jumper and feel very lucky to have been able to add it to my wardrobe. 
This next dress is another one of my sewing patterns. This one is the hazel pattern. It is the most versatile style of dress I have in my wardrobe. I find it's perfect all year round because it's so good for layering. This hazel dress has been made out of some beautiful vintage cotton rayon blend it feels like. It's just such a beautiful fabric and again I found this one on eBay and yeah I'm just in love with this dress. It's just so beautiful and I'm actually excited to be able to wear it on its own now that it's summer here. Next I have another kind of variation of the Rosa dress. I've just added these extra extra puffy sleeves to the dress. I absolutely love how this dress turned out. It is such a beautiful and unique style and the sleeves are such a statement. I just love it so much. So this next dress is made from my latest sewing pattern, the Willow Wrap Dress. I made this one out of a beautiful vintage fabric that I picked up from a thrift store and I feel very lucky to have found it because you don't often find fabrics this nice at thrift stores, let me tell you. And I'm just so happy with how this dress has turned out and especially the pattern. I'll have all my patterns linked in the description below if you'd like to check any of them out. This next item was probably one of my most challenging items to make. I don't often use stretch fabric, but when I found this beautiful raspberry red knit cord fabric, I just had to pick some up and I decided to make myself this really cute ruffled neck top, very much inspired by one that I saw by Princess Highway. I almost actually bought that top and then I found this fabric and I was determined to see if I could make it for myself. Because I don't have that much experience sewing with stretch fabric, I do feel like I've made a few small mistakes that with a bit of practice could become better. Just like the hemming isn't as even as it should be and something kind of went wrong with the tension of my machine um, so I obviously didn't have the machine set up properly but I'm still overall very happy with this top. Next up I have this Lucy and Yak inspired dungaree. It was actually surprisingly quite easy to make and again I shared a tutorial on how to go about it and I made it out of this beautiful brick red cotton drill fabric um, so it's quite a like heavier cotton but I was so happy with how this one turned out and I love all the little pockets along the front. Next I have another thrift flip item. I actually bought a dress from the op shop or thrift shop and decided to turn it into a top. Um, I wanted a really cute cropped top that I can wear with high-waisted jeans and things like that. I actually wore it yesterday with some high-waisted jeans and yeah, I was very happy with how the whole outfit looked. Next up, I have my perfect gathered skirt. So basically, I spent quite a long time trying to make a gathered skirt that I deemed the perfect gathered skirt and this is what I came up with. It has quite a lot of fabric in it because I wanted it to be a really dramatic full gather, but it also has this really cute tie with little belt loops as well for the tie to sit in. It's also a midi length, um, which is just my favorite length, I think. I love it so much and yeah, just overall very, very happy to have this one in my wardrobe. Next up, I have this really adorable wrap top. The fabric of this one was kindly sent to me by a &R Fabrics. I actually pattern hacked this top from my Willow Wrap Dress pattern and I shared the whole tutorial on how to go about that in last week's video if you'd like to check it out. And I'm just so, so happy with this. It's one of the cutest things I've made this year. It was definitely one of those items that turned out even better than I was hoping. So very, very happy with this top. Next, I have another Atlanta inspired dress. This one's made out of the same fabric as the wrap top. It's just the most beautiful burnt orange linen and being sent that fabric this year has definitely been a highlight of my year, I'm not gonna lie. So this dress here is also in my top three makes of the year. I'm just so happy with it and the fabric is just so beautiful and I know I'm going to get a lot of wear of this over the summer and for many years to come. Next, I have this super adorable embroidered cotton crop top. This item in particular is such a good beginner's project if you're just starting to make your own clothes. The fabric I used for mine is this beautiful embroidered cotton in the most lovely caramel colour. I just love this colour so much and I think it's made the cutest crop ever. Next I have this super amazing skirt that I actually made with a vintage pattern. I shared the whole making process of this skirt um, in a video. I actually made it to go perfectly with this blouse here and I do think that they go so well together. I just love this skirt so much. It has the cutest little side pockets. 
a lovely little tie at the front, which I love, and these amazing kind of tortoiseshell buttons all the way down the front, which did take a little while to stitch on, but I think it was so, so worth it. Next up, I have another willow wrap dress. So this willow dress is the long sleeve short skirt version. It's kind of perfect for this time of the year here in Australia where as soon as the sun goes down, it does start to cool down, but it's still warm enough to wear a dress. So yeah, I think this one would actually make a really great New Year's Eve dress, potentially. Next up, I have this really cute pinafore style dress. I actually used the same tutorial for the dungarees to make this dress. It's a very similar process, you just don't have to make legs, so it's even easier, to be honest. I made this pinafore out of some really lovely mustard corduroy, so it's a perfect one for winter time, for layering, and it's actually really lovely and warm. With this pinafore, I was actually trying to replicate one worn by Noellen Fox on Instagram. And I actually think I managed to replicate it pretty well. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun to try and recreate clothes from Instagram this year instead of just clicking through and buying them. This next item is also a great project for beginner sewers. It's this really adorable shirt tube top. And it's also a really great project to practice sharing on if you're just getting into it. Sharing is basically where you stitch elastic into the fabric to make it stretchy. It's so addictive and obviously very on trend at the moment. This dress here is the sleeved version of my Rosa sewing pattern. This is absolutely one of my favourite makes from this year as well. It's made out of this beautiful floral cotton. It's almost like a retro print, but it's not vintage at all. It's um, a new fabric. And I just have so many good memories from making this dress because it was such an exciting time um, making my very first sewing pattern. I think with a pair of sandals this summer, this is going to be one of my everyday outfits. Definitely a favorite in my wardrobe. Next, we have another Willow Wrap dress. This one has been made out of a beautiful vintage bed sheet though. So it's got this really lovely warm softness to it. It's a very old bed sheet. It was quite faded in areas and I had to be really strategic with how I cut into it to be able to get a whole dress out of it. But I'm just so in love with how the vintage sheet looks like as a wrap dress. And again, will be just a perfect dress for this summer. The next two items I'm going to share together as I kind of made them as a set and that's these two items here. A tradition I have around Christmas time is to make Matt and I matching outfits for Christmas Day. So I made Matt this beautiful men's shirt and to go with Matt's shirt I made myself this adorable jumpsuit very much inspired by the brand Ollie Ella. And I just think the two of them together are just so adorable. It's not too over the top matchy matchy because they are just like a plain kind of fabric, but it's still matching enough that it's, yeah, just a bit cute. Next, I have this beautiful tiered dress. Um, this one here, I actually used my hazel pattern to make. I decided to make it with these cute little tie-up straps, which are the most adorable thing ever. And the skirt itself has three beautiful tiers which I just think is so stunning and again such a like simple but dramatic dress. Next I have another variation of the Rosa dress. This one I added some puffy sleeves. I was kind of inspired by my gingham blouse that I wear pretty much in every second video. I love that blouse so much and I wanted to recreate the sleeves in a dress version and it's made from this really almost micro gingham fabric and yeah it was fun to add a bit of blue into my wardrobe as well. Next, I have this beautiful ditzy midi length dress. I actually used the same pattern that I used to make this blouse. So you can kind of see how I pattern hacked this one to have a bit more of a round neck, whereas the pattern actually comes with a V neck like this. And I made this dress out of the most beautiful ditzy floral rayon from Spotlight. Um, this dress also has pockets, which is very exciting. Actually, most of the dresses I've shared have pockets, just for your information. I'm so happy with how it turned out, and I really do love that McCall's pattern as well. If I was to make it again, I would make it a size smaller than they recommended, because it is quite a big fit on me. But apart from that, I'm super, super happy with it. We're definitely coming to the end now. This one is another version of my hazel dress, but with this one, I actually left out the waist darts to kind of create a more oversized fit. 
I actually made this one during my 100,000 subscriber live stream, which was just such a highlight to my year. That live stream was so much fun. It was so fun chatting with you all. And let me know in the comments if you actually made it to that live stream and watched me make this dress live. This one, again, is made from a really cute ditzy floral printed rayon. And I think it's made such a beautiful hazel dress. Again, I have loved layering this one with turtlenecks underneath. And I'm also very excited to wear it on its own during summer. And the very last dress I have to share with you today is another variation of my Rosa dress. I shared how to pattern hack the Rosa dress to make this dress here. It's again got a very beautiful tiered skirt. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up properly, but I also made this one with long sleeves to kind of make it a really nice autumnal or winter dress. I definitely don't have many black items in my wardrobe, so it was really nice to make this dress as it's still got the floral, which I love. But yeah, if I want to wear something that's a little bit less bright and out there, then this one's a great one to pick out and just wear and to feel comfortable in. So I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I made for my Mime wardrobe during 2020. Like I said at the start, it's just so satisfying to see everything I made nicely on one rack like this. I could literally just stare at it all day. It's really nice to kind of be able to see what I have managed to achieve this year. And I'm really, really excited to see what I'll be making for my wardrobe in 2021. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to come find me on Instagram at Rosary Apparel to see some of the other things I make and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Also, thank you so much for all the support this year and for watching my videos. It really, really means a lot to me. And I hope you have a wonderful new year and I'll be back with more tutorials in 2021. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching.